Hello everyone, today I'm flying into Rio for a bag of cocaine and a ladyboy who let me snort it off her taint. Before that, we'll take a quick look at Overlay Editor. If you're using Ortho for XP to create your scenery and overlays, over a little time you'll probably notice a few things that drive you absolutely fucking nuts. The first thing you'll notice is that certain man-made landmarks are missing. In this case, it's the statue overlooking Rio. Something else that will completely boil your shite are the trees. Parts of the map can end up looking like some sort of dystopian post-nuclear winter, where the forest has grown back to reclaim the city's beaches and airports. It's time to open your browser, because as usual there's a shopping list. No prizes for guessing, the first thing you'll need is Overlay Editor. As usual it's available from xplane.org. The next thing I grabbed was this Rio de Janeiro mesh. I'm not looking for the actual mesh, because the one I generated in Ortho for XP is more up to date. What I'm looking for is a couple of items of scenery that are contained in this package. I next picked up the three major airports from around Rio. I have two reasons for doing this. Generally the airports are quite up to date. Additionally, the makers of the airports usually include buildings from around the vicinity of the airports. With our shopping list complete, it's time to start making Rio look pretty. The first thing I did was copy all the objects that came with that mesh download, then I drilled into the Y Ortho Overlays Rio mesh, and I pasted them in there. If you want to use 3D objects from scenery packages, but you want to use your own mesh, the easiest way to do it is as follows. Copy all the objects from the package and paste them into your Y Ortho Overlay folder. Now you can start up Overlay Editor. When it starts, it will look like this. So go to the top left corner, click the second icon in to select Open. Scroll down to select the overlay you wish to edit. In this case, it's the Y Ortho Overlays Rio. This program handles a lot of data, so it does take a while for everything to load. Whatever you do, don't start clicking on things because you'll crash the fucking program. At several times, it actually may look like the program has crashed, but just wait it out and everything will load up eventually. When it fully loads, you'll be looking at an image of the terrain somewhere on your overlay. At this point, there's probably still a little bit of loading left, so don't get click happy until everything looks settled. You'll now want to find the first area you want to change. The easiest way to do this is to open Google Maps and look at the coordinates of a place you know, such as an airport. Go back to Overlay Editor and you'll see the coordinates at the bottom below the map. The coordinates indicate the centre of your map. There's a red dot there for reference. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around the map and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. At this point you'll notice lots of different coloured lines. White lines are roads and paths. Yellow lines are taxiways, and green lines constitute borders. Those green line borders are used to define the type of autogem within them. Some may be trees, some may be houses, some may be urban. They may be industrial or they may be exclusion zones. The easiest way to find out what something is is to click anywhere along the line. It will be highlighted on the right hand side. There are four buttons at the top you need to understand. This one adds objects or items selected from libraries on the right. This one allows you to add a point to a line so you can change the shape of an area or make it bigger. This one allows you to add a customizable curve to a line. It's particularly useful for roads and pathways. This one deletes the selected object. What I'm doing here is deleting all the trees that are spilling over onto the airport to stop them popping up through hangars. What I'm deleting here is autogen trees and natural areas. If I wanted I could also add areas of autogen by going through the libraries from the drop down on the right and selecting what I thought was appropriate. You can also set exclusion zones to keep an area clear. In this example I want to make sure there are no trees or forests popping up through the airport. I go to the drop down on the right hand side, choose exclusion zones and select forests. I then go across and click plus to add the exclusion zone. When the box appears I can then grab the nodes at the corners to adjust it to the shape and size I require. My next step is to clear the beaches. They're so overgrown they remind me of watching Japanese porn. I simply click on the line marking the autogen trees and press delete. Now I want to use some of the custom objects I originally copied into the overlay folder. From the drop down on the right I select objects in this package. This only works if I've copied the objects into the overlay folder. To place the object I make sure the center red dot is as close as possible to where the object should be. Making sure the object is selected from the list on the right I click plus to add the object to the overlay. I then zoom in to move the object to its exact position. There are a few things you need to know here. To move an object up, down, left or right, you use the keys W, S, A, D. As the object moves away from the red center dot, it tends to move in a circle around the red dot. If you want the object to move in a straight line, remember to periodically use your arrow keys to reposition the red dot of the object. To rotate an object, you use the Q and E keys. You can use this method to add any objects you desire. When you're finished editing the overlay, simply click Save and then exit the program. 
After restarting X-Plane, we'll take a look at some of the results. The first thing you'll notice is I no longer have trees growing out of hangars. We're now coming up on one of the airports I downloaded. It comes with nearby skyscrapers and fully detailed local docks so your mum has somewhere to ply her trade. The airport and terminal buildings are also nicely detailed. If you look just left over the nose, you can see that the beaches have been fully waxed in Brazilian fashion. And finally, up on the hill, we've Rio's famous statue of Charles Manson, screaming about how he's going to murder fucking everybody as soon as he escapes his stone prison. On that slightly deranged note, I hope this has been informative. I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.